We're live. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stay on here for a little bit, see if people get on. Oh, no. What's going on now? Okay. Some people. Some people are not. It looks kind of blurry. Yeah, now it looks good. A little bit. The bad piggy! We can see it! <laughs> okay. Alright. So, oh, it's gonna go in and out. That's crazy. Okay. So, hopefully, we can see. Okay. What are you gonna tell everybody what we're doing? We're gonna taste these these uh, flavors in different countries. Okay. So, what we have right now is... I ordered this thing that we have is new. It's called the Yum Box. Yeah. So, what it is, is it's a subscription monthly. All it does is you, um, you get different snacks from different countries every single month. So, I got the Super Yum Box. More stuff in it, of course. Yeah, More because food. it's so tasty. <laughs> When, when everything's so tasty good, when everything is not so tasty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, this is our actually very first box and very first time actually going live. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. Ma, two people are watching it. Oh, yeah. All right. So it looks like we got Welcome to the Netherlands. Whoa, we have all the flavors. Pretty cool. Yeah. Alright. So we have So it comes with um yeah. obviously the little country that we're going to that we're going to. Yeah. And then it comes with like a booklet and it tells you some fun facts about the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three people are watching it. I know. And then it gives you like a description of each snack that's in the box. So yeah. this is how it comes to oh, like stuff, actually. Yeah. <laughs> gummy bears, spicy gummy bears. <laughs> All right. So since it was Alexander's idea yeah. to go live, and I'm terrible because I'm camera shy, and I bet my face is red right now. So we have to taste it every single places. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let him choose the first snack on what we're going to do. All right? So you can look in the box and go ahead and choose a snack. You want to choose that one? Yeah. All right. Let's taste it. Well, we can, hold on. you got to let him know what it is and what it looks like. So I'm guessing this is Chio, extra, extra large... Cheese. Flippies cheese. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Let's right. open it. So it says it's extra crunchy. Yeah. Um, and that it's cheese. Yeah, uh, because it has America letters on it. Oh, Gabby says you're really cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you would have been nice, but yes. <laughs> thank <laughs> <Thanks>. you, Gabby. <laughs> All right. You ready to try one? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Get one, and then I'm going to get one. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so good, guys. So it's like a cheese puff. Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's, okay, I guess it's good. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> um... It's more like a sharp cheddar cheese taste instead of like a, it's not like a Cheeto cheese puff. It has more sharp cheddar taste to it. I'm trying to find the booklet. Yeah. I have to find where it is first. It's right here. Not that one, baby. Oh. Of course, he would choose the one that's like at the very back. Yeah. So, so cheese corn puffs. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't eat it all. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to put that one aside. So this one, to me, I like it. Me too. It's pretty good. 
I like the sharp cheddar cheese taste to it. I, I like, like the sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, and the cool thing about this box, actually, I didn't mention that. It has like a grading scale. Yeah, because I don't know if you it guys has can all. See it. Yeah, because it's like um. So each one here, and then it'll, you like get to grade the best one, the ones that you like the most, and all that stuff. It has like fun facts. Um, there's puzzles on there. Yeah. And I guess it tells you also on the other side, like, like just small fun facts about where the stuff coming from. Hmm. Stop eating it, babe. <laughs> he keeps eating it from the same bag instead of choosing something else. Alright. What do you else will you want to choose? Not that one. That one's last. So oh. what he was gonna choose, it's called the the yum bag. So I guess this has like these are like the candies and stuff. I'm guessing like hard candies. Yeah, and, like, because they they looks like I have I think they looks like taste good. They look like they taste good. Okay. Well said. <laughs> Lily says que estás hermoso. You say hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> okay. Please. What are you going to choose from here? Oh, spicy. Spicy gummy bears? Well, they're not gummy bears. Sure. I am definitely not going to be saying this stuff right. So, I'm guessing palm, palm bar. Oh, three people's now. Palm bar. Yeah, palm bar. And it's... Palm bar. Uh, 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 uh. Paprika flavored. Paprika. That's going to be really palm. interesting. Yeah, because it's going to taste spicy. Well, it's a pepper. It's not a spicy pepper. It looks like a potato. Yeah. A potato and a pepper. What? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's try it. We have to drink. I'm not even going to try to read the ingredients because that thing's in Dutch. There's okay. no way I will read that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's going to be so spicy. Ooh. Mm, okay. It smells good. It smells good? Okay. I like he just goes for it. Yum yum. Hmm. It doesn't taste spicy. That's actually really good. Yeah, just like this one. Told ya. That one. I'm trying to think what it tastes like. I know. What? Potato. It tastes like. Mrs. Vic, uh, or Vicky's, the, the baked, um, the baked chips, but, like, the barbecue flavor, that is odd. Yeah. Looks That's like really it's good. good. Mm hmm Of course, I'm fat, I'll keep eating it. But... Yeah. He <laughs> said, yeah. I think too. Thanks for agreeing. Yeah. So the texture is like um ah. like a puff texture. Why did they just broken? Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. I have a feeling I'm gonna like everything from this bag. Yeah. <laughs> so for the people who are just starting to watch again, um, I'm doing. It's called the Yum Box. Yeah. Um, I got the Super Yum always... Box. I know, but people. Some people are new and they're not. They don't know and they're just watching now. So it's a Super Yum Box, and what it is is that it goes from every country. So it's kind of like a snack crate. I like this one better. Um, I did more research into into them before getting them because I felt like this had more stuff in it, like more choices. Um, granted, the other ones didn't. Uh, the snack crate, yes, it comes with, like, a drink, but, I mean, if it was a soda, I bet by the time it got to the house, it'd be flat. It is mm. what it is. Yeah. But, okay. Okay, what? So, we got, for the people who are just going on, we got the Netherlands. Yeah. And we're tasting stuff from the Netherlands. All right. We're going to try a different one. I like those two so far. All right, let's try something else. Mmm, this is called the, hold on, 
Oh, and it comes with a booklet. Yeah, because it has gummy So cards. this is called the Auto Drops. So they're, they look like Swedish fish, but they're shaped as cars. Yeah. Um, they're gummy. So candy shaped like cars. It's a Dutch thing. These unique gummies are made by Auto Drops, a famous yeah, Dutch confectionery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been making transportation related sweets since 1965. Their first product was black licorice car tires. Uh, I don't like licorice. I don't know if anybody else likes licorice, but I I, mm -mm. I, I don't do licorice. Um, while their lineup of car trucks, tractors, steering wheels, parking coins, and angry drivers might seem like a strange theme, the quirky candies race off store oh race off the the store shelves in the Netherlands. These red Cadillacs are Auto Drops best sellers. And if you are someone who picks out the reds from the bag of candy, you already know why they're a hit. Filled with strawberry, cherry, and black blackcurrant flavors, they're so good they should be forbidden, which is incidentally auto drop slogan for the past 53 years. Okay. Try it. Ooh. So it has three flavors. Mm-hmm. I am not even going to try to pronounce the flavors because I will completely say that wrong. Yeah. So it's in Dutch. Yeah. Um, impossible for me to say. All right, let's see. Yeah. Hey, sit back. All right. <laughs> let's try it. I'm going to try the red one. It's oh. my favorite color. Um, if it was not impossible to open. Okay. Candy difficulty, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. No. My turn to try. Can I smell it? Hmm, smells good. It does. It has a really strong smell to it. Yeah. It does smell like really strong strawberries, though. I don't. Okay, I don't well, you want that one? Okay, the one that I just sniffed. Right. Oh, this is my favorite. All right, ready? <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, God. Jesus. So, it's not the texture of Swedish fish. Okay. So, it smells better than it tastes. Mm -hmm. Um, They're really hard. Which is okay. It tastes like the 7 Eleven knockoff gummy bears <laughs> that are like really, really hard. And your gum, like your tooth is gonna come out. It has a really strong aftertaste though, which is really good. Okay. All right, we're gonna try another one. Go ahead, pick another one. That one? Wow, these are heavy. <laughs> Met a chip. Oh, God. Okay. Room butter waffles. Room butter waffles. Oh, God. It has a stick of butter. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hold on, let's see what it is. It's somewhere else. Gotta it's find it now. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um. Okay, we've spent a lot of time talking about... Room butter stroop, waffles. Stroop waffles. Yeah. But that's not the only waffle from the Netherlands. The English word waffle like comes from waffles. the Dutch. Waffle. Waffle? Waffle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you should pronounce that a different way. Anyway. The second waffle recipe written, written came from the 16th century Dutch manuscript. Needless to say, they've been around the Netherlands for a long time. So long that they've inspired their very own candy. Okay, 
pop one of these butter waffles. So tech in parentheses butter waffles. Yeah. Uh that's gross. <laughs> okay. Butter waffles. Butter waffles. Alright. Yeah. Into your mouth. And you'll think they're eating a warm buttered waffle with maple syrup. The reason these butter waffles taste okay. like the real thing, because they're made with the real thing. Yeah. Uh, each sweet and creamy, creamy bite is packed with the real dairy butter for a truly spot on Dutch waffle experience. Ooh. This is scary. I. It's heavy, like heavy. <laughs> I can hold it. You feel that? Yeah. So I feel it's kind of heavy. There's butter right there. I like butter on toast. I don't like butter in a candy. So they look like waffles. But how about the like, circle waffles? Okay, we'll see. Hold on. All right, hold on. We got it. We give it a second. We found it. I am so scared about this. I don't know about waffles. I mean butter. Wait, wait. You gotta. Oh. He just goes for it. It's a hard candy. Rely. Be careful. <laughs> so it's a hard candy. Is it good? I'm really scared. I don't like butter like that. Mm. No, 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 absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -mm. Um, tastes good. <laughs> It tastes good. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I like butter on toast. Why? Because it's good. Why? <laughs> I don't like butter in a hard candy. Yeah. It kind of tastes like caramel, but... I don't like caramel either. I know. I'm weird. Not me. And to be honest with you, it looks like there's a lot of caramelly, caramelly stuff in this, in this box. I'm scared. Okay. Pick something else. Which one? That one? This one? Stroop waffles. Stroop waffles. Like Max and Alex cookies. Just like this one. The Stroop Waffle. No. No, I know where it is. Okay, he's going to look for it. Ah. Max and Alex Cookie Stroop Waffles. Spiced waffle cookies with caramel. Spice waffle. <sighs> okay. Time for a game. Using the two Stroop Waffles in the package, two people can compete in a traditional Dutch game called... I have no idea how you would say that word. Yeah. Kowik hap Kowik <laughs> My bad. Okay. To play local ties cookies to a piece of thread and attempt to eat it while keeping their heads behind their hands behind their backs. Sounds fun? No, it sounds complicated. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're just gonna give me food, can What's you just this give one? me food? This one looks what? like the butter waffles. That one. Uh, that oh. does look like the butter waffles. Okay, use a toothpick. To poke a hole through the bottom. Yeah. Okay, that so now it's just telling me how to do it. Um How no. do you open it? How? With your hands, so with your hands. Okay, again. Just like the butter waffle. I don't like caramel, but I'm gonna try it. Cause what was the point of getting the box if you're not gonna try what's in it, even if you don't like it. Makes sense? Sure. Yeah, okay. Let's Wait, wait, relax, child, Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this one actually smells good. Oh, you know what it smells like? 
Graham cracker cookies. Yay! You know when you used to get sick at school? Yeah. And you were just like, you're hungry or whatever, and they would give you those cookies that like cut into four. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Yeah. Tastes Graham good. cracker cookies. That smells good. Wait. Ugh, impatient. Okay. We're gonna get one. Yeah, we're gonna cut it in half. So we can try. Oh, okay. So it's not. Okay. It's big. It's not like a cracker cracker. So it. Oh, it has caramel in the middle. Mm, okay. We're gonna. I don't like caramel. Alright, go ahead. Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, he has said everything is good in this box. <laughs> right? Okay. Because my mouth said, it tastes good. Okay. I Why do you this. like caramel? I don't like caramel. Why? It tastes good. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's actually really good. The caramel isn't over... Powering, if it makes sense. What does it taste like? It looks like. It looks like. It tastes like Oreo. Okay, it tastes like Oreos. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good. Okay, so it's soft. It's mm -hmm. not a crunchy cookie. That'd be great with coffee, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's soft cookie. It is a soft cookie. I like the fact that it doesn't, you don't taste that overpowering caramel, which is really good. Um, it has, okay, it's like a graham cracker with light maple syrup on it. It tastes really good. I like it. So this one was the... Droop waffles. Shoot. Max and Alec cookies. These are really good. Yeah. I'm probably going to eat them for breakfast yeah. tomorrow yeah. with coffee. All right. He's going to pick something else. What is he going to pick? Uh, the chips? Yes? Yeah. I think not. Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I thought I thought you pick it wrong. Oh, okay. Okay, so these are another paprika chips. I guess I'm guessing they really like paprika. Yeah, they look like the bear one. It, yes. The okay. So I guess it's the same concept. Okay. So they're called pig. <laughs> I'm so gonna say that wrong. Pinchachas. Pinchachas? <laughs> Pinchachas. <laughs> paprika. Okay, Raquel, be PG, please. Okay. Um, there's paprika inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. Cuba. Interesting. Found it. You found it? Okay. I was finding everywhere. So, Chio, <laughs> Chio Pinchachas. Paprika flavored pinchachas. corn. Pinchachas. <laughs> <laughs> Flavored corn crisp. Okay. Corn crisp. There, <laughs> there is a word in Dutch that is extremely useful to describe this next snack. Lekker. Okay. I probably said that wrong. Lekker has a tradition has traditionally been used to describe food as it means yummy or tasty. So that will be helpful phrase for this light, zesty, Cuban inspired paprika snack. But lekker isn't isn't limited to food. This word can also mean also can be used to describe anything that's easy or makes you feel good. So again, lecker is used full useful description for the snack eating. It is easy, and there are so many of these <laughs> pinchachas that you can feel good about sharing them. Well, or so done. we've heard. Let's say it all together. That so is lecker. Why why do you say pinchachas? I don't know. What's <laughs> the name of it? Yeah, because it looks like so funny word. It does. Wait, <laughs> Jesus, this child. Okay. That one is real you can really taste that. It's spicy? That 
That paprika. That paprika. <laughs> Wow, that's strong. Okay. I need a face one. One for you. One for me. Ready? Wow. Yum! That's really good. It's not spicy. No. You can really taste the paprika though. Yeah, looks like pincha <laughs> jazz. It looks like pincha jazz. <laughs> wow, that, that means it's actually really good. Yeah, it looks like strong. I'm gonna have to go to another one. Yeah, to buy all <laughs> To buy pincha <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> looks like pincha jazz chips. Okay. So in this one, and this, and this chip, you can taste the paprika a lot more than you can in this one. Yeah. Or that one. It's really good though. Yeah, it doesn't taste spicy. No. So it's not spicy. But at it's all. good. It's nice and cr it's light. Is what I like about it. It's not like an overpowering chip. It's really light. It's good. Um, I finished. Hold on. I can do that. That's good. I like what that. Do you, what do you say, Pink Chai Jazz? That was That's the name of it. All right, he's going to choose something else. You're going to choose this one? I think so. I don't think so. I don't like the look of this one. It looks like caramel. Again. It like doesn't. Caramel. I don't like caramel. So this is what it looks like. Looks like the waffles one. The waffles. Um, shoot. <laughs> Square. lanes. Shooter lanes. Shooter lanes. Shooter lanes. Um, whatever. Okay. It's called. I don't like caramel, so I don't know how I'm I feel about it. it. I find it. Fun. Oh, you're gonna find it. There we go. Okay. Oh. Pinchet. It's a cinnamon candy Pinchet. melt. Okay, so cinnamon candy melts. That's what these are. Okay, this sweet is meant for... Okay, this sweet is meant for you. Yes, you are a visitor to the Netherlands. This candy is traditionally offered to foreigners who aren't used to Dutch drops. Because it's meant to be a bit milder... Excuse me. And familiar... Then the famous salty black licorice. I just can't do licorice. Do you like licorice? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think he knows what licorice is. Anyways. Um, black licorice. This should come for you, especially since... Oh, Lord. Okay. Can scent... <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Um, translates to... Wait, don't move it. Translates to little cinnamon pillows. Okay. They're hard. I don't uh. think so. It is an adventure, Candace. Oh yeah, there is hard. <laughs> it is, it is. We've girl, we've been through all these chips. Let me tell you, they're so good. Yeah, just I, like I like it. The only ones that I did not like were these. Grant, it has a freaking butter stick on there. I don't mm, no. It wasn't very good. He liked it. He crunched through the whole thing. It was crazy. Anyways, so, um, spent, um, little cinnamon pillows is where I was at. Made with secret recipe, secret recipe, Jesus. Think that, that. <laughs> this, this sweet has a Think soft that, that. melt in your mouth texture and unique yeah. fluffiness, just like a pillow. Now, don't get us wrong, even with the name Bobby, pillows, Bobby. this sweet won't put you to sleep. Each tiny morsel divert delivers. Wow, my reading was terrible. Delivers an explosion of zesty cinnamon zesty. spice. <laughs> zesty. zesty. <laughs> Providing like, just the right okay. amount of tingly heat. At least it's a break from licorice. I think it <laughs> tastes good. You think it tastes good? Yeah. Are right, you ready to try it? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to open it. It's not. I got it. Okay. 
Oh. It smells like Christmas in a bag. <laughs> yeah. I taste one. He just goes for it. He doesn't even <laughs> he doesn't even like wait for me to go for it. You like it? No, don't crunch it. You're gonna break a tooth. This child, I swear. It's like Christmas in a bag. Oh, you know what it is? It's like Michael's in a bag. You know how you, you walk in and you smell all the... <laughs> so, it's good. It's not bad. And like they said, it's not... Like it, It's very mild. Um... I'm trying to think what it, uh, you know those candies, the red candies, they're, oh, you know the cinnamon gum? It's not as, it's not as strong as that, that cinnamon gum, like, that you're just, like, watering for, like, a good five minutes before you, like, the... I can't, I don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't like it. <laughs> I guess he bit through it. Oh, it does start to get, mm-hmm. It does look like spicy. Yeah, so, okay, so, it's nice and mild at the beginning. Yeah, I taste it now. So, it's nice and mild. Then you start feeling the heat, which is good because it gradually comes. It doesn't hit you in one, one way, like, at one time. Yeah. <laughs> Child, drink all his water. Yeah, because it tastes spicy all day. And it's all concentrated in the middle. It's actually really good, though. Yeah. Yes? It does it because it tastes spicy. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Pick another one. Okay. So this is another Max and Alex cookies. Excuse my 10-year-old fingernails. I um, know. Choco, <laughs> Choco Stroop Waffles. Delicious cookie from Holland. Can you find it? Aha. There you go. All right. So Stroop Waffles in the Netherlands are practically synonymous. But we're all finishing it. Almost. We get, We still got a good amount of snacks. Yeah, we have Ooh, all Just snacks. give it a second. Hold on. I lost where I was. I know. Okay. The famous thin waffle sandwich was first made in the 1840s by Dutch baker Gerard Kamfuisen. Sure. Who, all right, Gerard. <laughs> Who wanted to efficiently use leftover breadcrumbs by binding them. Sit down, baby. By binding them with... Caramel. God, here comes the caramel. I can't do caramel. I don't like caramel. I like caramel. You liked everything in this box. <laughs> I like caramel. Okay. All right, let's listen. Let's listen. Um, Breadcrumbs by binding them with caramel. Today's droop waffles are one of the culinary highlights of a trip to the Netherlands. But chances are, if you've flown with the United Airlines in the past two years, you've already tried this traditional treat. We couldn't give you the same thing. This version improves the classic waffle in the major way. A thick coating of silky, milky chocolate, Mr. Camfusen, sure, would be so proud. Okay. And this is what they look like. Yeah. Tastes good. It looks good. Excuse you. Excuse okay. me, guys. Can I try one? Yeah, it's only one. <laughs> so give it a second. We're going to split it in half. Yeah, guess what? Like we did the first one. Just like the Ooh. the waffles, the circle. Oh, waffles. so look at the caramel, guys. It like goosed out of the bottom. Okay. Hold on. I like down. caramel. Caramel is like my favorite. So look at that. Can see. Mmm, the caramel. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We're going to taste it. So that's pretty cool. So it 
It's like a, yeah, it's like a cracker. Like they said, it's a cracker Just with like caramel that. Yeah. and chocolate. I don't, I don't care know if you guys can see it. Excuse my fingers again. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm going to try it. Human. It's good though. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of caramel. Mom. I don't know. Caramel, caramel. Mom, what do you guys call it? Mom, what anyway. flavor taste? So, I'm trying to think of what it tastes. You know what it tastes like? It tastes kind of like a, like a Twix bar. Yeah. Kind of. Mm -hmm. A little better though. It's not bad. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Do you all like caramel? I don't really like caramel. No, the butter caramel. But their caramel tastes different than ours. Just like, like the this. caramel here. No, you can... Yeah, it's just... But this is what that one is again. Just like that one. It's not bad. I like it. And I'm not a big fan of caramel at all. And I'm pretty sure I mentioned it like about 20,000 times in the video. I like Lightning McQueen. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Choose something else. Okay. Mmm, what is that? Interesting. Ooh. Oh. I found it. I love oranges with chocolate. So when I was little, I used to have this, um, well, actually, my mom... Used to work for someone who had a a, a chocolate. It looked it, lo it was a shape of an orange, and you would actually have to just kind of smash it, and then it would open like that into the slices of the orange. It was the best orange. I mean, not the orange, but it was the best. Um, how do you call it? The best chocolate yeah. I have had. All right. So this one is what he chose. Yeah, because it's right here. And and it's right here. So it's. Droste, drost or droste? Droste. You want to? We'll go with that one because that's what it looks like. Yeah. Orange pastillas, 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 pastillas. something like that. Um, whoever's Dutch in my Facebook could probably just, or you know, yeah, can and uh, help me da, with that because it's terrible. Da, 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 all right. Da, da. So all around the leather, Netherlands. There's a strange virus. That's a lot to work. There's a strange virus. A strange virus taking hold. Orange jet courts. Okay, chances are after the yum. You, is he, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, chances are after this yum, you'll catch it too. Orange jet courts or orange fever is used to describe the country wild obsession with the color orange. As the official color of the Netherlands, this bright hue is a sign of national pride. So why, so why or, why orange? Oh, so why orange? Oh Lord, that was terrible. Okay, so why orange? Oh my God, I lost my face. As it turns out, the top stripe of the Dutch flags used to be orange. But since the Dutch flag used to be orange, but wow, I've repeated that thing. I'm terrible. Okay. Yeah, because you can't read it. Oh, I, <laughs> thanks. I have 100 um, pounds. Okay, so as it turns out, the stop the the top stripe of the Dutch flag used oh, to be gosh. orange, but since the unstable dye would fade quickly, it was eventually switched to red. No trip to the Netherlands would be complete without a little orange, which is why we've brought you this famous orange milk chocolate made using the same Dutch recipe since 1863. With this festive orange packaging and luscious citrus flavor, this candy will have you feeling the symptom of orange jacquard in no time. Okay, mom was down. All right, ready? Yeah, let's try it. Looks like tasty. Is there good. a special way to open it? Or yeah. is this just here? Yeah, there. We'll figure it out. 
Is that open? Ah, we got it. We got it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I know, but I gotta open it first. Sit down. Okay. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. So it comes like in a bag on it. Kind of like a yeah, like a foil. Yeah. Type thing. I said bag. Yeah. And you said foil. I said foil. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's cool. They look like cho <coughs> chocolate coins, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it smells just like. Oh my God, just like the things that I did when I was when I had when I was little. Mm mm mm. Oh my God. Mm. This is the best. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is this is the this is really good. You see the letters on it? <laughs> Here I got it. Yeah. So bite it. Go ahead. So it doesn't have anything in it. it has, well, okay. I take that back. It has like little. And like little crunchy stuff in it mm -hmm. and that's where the flavor of the oranges come out but this is really good yeah like i had really good okay yeah it tastes good like an orange this tastes really really good yeah like orange juice. i'm a big fan of having like <laughs> having some fruit yeah. with um with chocolate on it i'm more of a fan of um dark chocolate than anything but this milk chocolate doesn't taste like like fake i don't know if that makes any sense like you know how some chocolate you're just like mm, you can taste like it oh you know what you know those the fake chocolate i'm trying to say it's um what is that those chocolate bunnies that we get in easter these things are horrible all right okay Mom. all right pick something else what are you gonna choose? Mmm. Yummy. So we got another gummy thing. Double dur dur daros. <laughs> gummy. Sure. Okay. So it's the same maker. Uh, the auto drops. From the other. I, I don't know. I can't find the it. The other, the other ones, the Cadillacs. So they, they're like the little double deckers, the trains or the buses. I mean, you know what I meant. I found it. You found it? Okay. Yeah, double deckers. Oh, <laughs> they're K's, not R's. Oh, I failed. Okay, you whatever. Found it. All right, double deckers, fruit, <laughs> fruit and licorice gummies. Um, I don't like licorice. We'll try it anyway. All right. Yeah. Because so, spicy or spice? Because I don't like spicy. Well, it's not spicy. Okay. Earlier this year, we did a customer survey and asked, among the other things, if we wanted to see more licorice in your box. Less than 5% of you wanted more of it. If we did the same survey in Netherlands, it would be 100%. So that's why you're getting you're getting it for this month. Mm -hmm. We couldn't visit the Netherlands without a plethora of licorice grape. All right, there. Mom, they... don't read all the words because that takes long. Okay, apparently I'm slow. Read one word. All right, so we'll just try. We'll we'll just try it. Sheesh, because you know I, I it takes so long. Yeah, because he just he, wants to try it. He, yeah, because it takes so long when well, you do that. Well, it's cool. It has three flavors, if you see in the back. It's like a green one, see. an orange one, and a red one. Oh. Green one Which one are you planning to try? Red. Red one, of course. It's his favorite color. Yeah, because I like only red. All right, so here's a red one. Oh, I'm just going to grab whatever's on top. Orange. It tastes... Smell it. It tastes, I mean, it smells fruity. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I'm so scared because I don't like licorice. <laughs> Let's taste it. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yum yum and my tummy. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm trying to leave you. Absolutely not. Okay, you can try it. Oh, it has. I tried a lemon. It, it tastes like lemon. That one tastes like lemon. It tastes like burnt tire. It's horrible. Oh, no. Ew. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. Okay, can no. we try something else now? Okay. Okay. Don't try that again. Because I will not. That's, you gonna try that one? Okay. What's inside there? What's these called? So this one is, I still have the extra taste. It's gross. Right here. Cracklin. Read right. one word. Sugar glazed pretzels. Interesting. So let's open it. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so I can't even read the description because he's hungry. Um. Okay, so craving a sal salty snack. Don't in eat the all of it. Hold on, I'm not. In the Netherlands, maybe don't go for the pretzels. As you've learned, the Dutch do everything differently. They put salt on licorice. And as you'll find with this, yum sugar on pretzels while it's familiar twisted shape. Wow, that's weird. Sugar glazed pretzels. I think I like it. We'll find out. Oh, cool. So it comes in a little baggy. This is interesting. Yeah. Looks like so it's a sugar glazed egg. pretzel. So I'm guessing like the salty and the sweet? Maybe? Oh, okay. We'll just take it all of that, I guess. Yeah, because, because I can't see all of it. Oh, I still have that liquor in my... In my um, Coming? No, in my mouth, and it's like it's gross. All right, there you go. Thank you. Oh, it's sticky. Yeah. Hmm. This tastes like empty buffet. Hmm. This tastes like empty buffet. Okay. Dug. This one's really good. Yeah, it tastes like in King's It's Buffet. not too... <laughs> it tastes like the crackers at King's Buffet is what he's saying. Um, yes. And at the same time, it's nice and it's flaky. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, probably not. Okay, whatever. It. So it's flaky. And what it has... Um, so it's a, a sugar glazed pretzel... There's no salt on it. Like on the pretzel and then they have it glazed over. There's no salt. Um, what it tastes like is it tastes like the crust of <laughs> the crust of the apple pies at McDonald's. <laughs> like where it doesn't have any filling, just it's dry crust. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. And he's going for another one. It looks like a pencil. Alright. Let's get something else. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's pretty good though. Yeah. You know what it's good with? Coffee. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh no. I'm scared of their gummies. After that gummy that I taste, I'm telling you, that was horrible. The, the These double decker thingies, never again. I, if I ever in a lifetime go to the Netherlands and I see that bag, I will never buy it. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God. This looks like caramel with licorice. That looks so gross. Caramel licorice. Two things I don't like. I cannot stand licorice or caramel. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. Salt and toffee flavored soft licorice. What? Kind of, what? So apparently, the Netherlands love licorice and caramel. I, no. No okay. caramel for you. <laughs> All right, so remember when we told you that the Dutch love licorice? Go figure. I just said that. We're going to tell you again. In fact, they love it so much that they eat it all over four pounds. No, I don't, Becca. I do not like caramel. <laughs> I, I, I like caramel. It's my kid favorite. Loves anything. I, I just, I, I don't like caramel. But Me, I'm not going to lie. I this like caramel. One, Guys. We got this one. This one was pretty good. Yeah. And we also got this other one. <laughs> Gloria, yes. Those <laughs> those apple pies are amazing. Yeah. I tasted the one in the summer. The one that it's like, what is it? A strawberry? I didn't smell so this. Good. I didn't smell it. You're going to smell it? It does taste good. Oh, so he's going to smell it and then it tastes good. Interesting. I'm gonna and then we got this one. Hey, this one was really good. Okay. So, where was I? Okay, in fact, they love it so much that they eat over four pounds of it a year. So, that's a lot of licorice. Mm -hmm. Four pounds in, well, in a year. That's a lot. Oh. I mean, a lot for someone who doesn't like licorice. I, I don't like black licorice at all. Why? Okay. It's just... It's, it's terrible. Okay, while we didn't Me, include I four, <laughs> while we didn't include four pounds of it in your box, it might feel like it. Yes, it does. It does. We didn't want you to leave this adventure without one last licorice experience. Inside this bag, you'll find three different soft drop candies of toffee flavored trucks, salty tank trucks, and luxury licorice cement trucks gross yeah it is very bitter i don't like licorice this one that we tried it tastes like burnt tire it was horrible i mean not that i know what burnt tire tastes like i like burnt but it's tire. bad <laughs> like you can imagine how it tastes like if you smell it I, it was peanut really butter jelly time Awkward. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Peter butter jelly top. Um, I'm trying to think where I was. Oh, toffee flavored trucks, salty tank trucks, and luxury licorice cement. Peter butter trucks. jelly top. Remember, when it comes to drop it to drop, it's all about sampling until you find the one flavor that's perfect for you. Or you can give it to your friends and watch their horrified reaction. Yes, that's exactly what I would do. Yeah, you can't. You I'm, can't. I'm scared. Um, no. I don't mind talk, mm, Ma, toffee let's see as the, much. Ma, let's see the licorice. size. Ma, no, let's... leave those gummies alone. I already had enough of those. No, I'm wait a second. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, I'm gonna try the chocolate. Hold on. Oh. Let's smell it. Ooh. Mm, I would, I would take this Whoa! Oh, they're mixed! I thought 
thought there were just individual ones. Oh no. I'll get the mixed one. They're literally mixed. I'll get the oh, mixed Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I'm so scared. Mm. Oh, this one doesn't have any. Do you like it? He likes what? it. What do you say? I, I'm so scared. Oh God, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't try it, it's licorice. This is water. Nope. Nope. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, no. No, thank you. It's the lick. Okay. It's gonna sound weird, but the licorice is in the middle. That's horrible. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, that was tastes good, but it doesn't. Ah, I don't like it. You didn't like it? No. I didn't like it either. <laughs> but you ate it like you did. Like it's he was just. Chomping at it. That was gross. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, we have so many. Yeah, so right. many. Let's try something else. Ooh, I'm I'm actually looking forward to these in the box. Go ahead. Mm. That one? <laughs> Alright. Lightly spiced Dutch cookies with peanut, rasp, and sugar. Okay. Okay, I like sugar. Book. So he's looking for it in the book. There it is. Jan Hangel. Spiced with cookies with peanut, peanuts and pearl sugar. Say hello to the ugliest cookie ever. That's funny. To the ugly <laughs> Really, cookie. in Dutch. Jan Hangel means ragtag. Which describes the cookie as crumbly texture and the layer of tagging top of toppings. But look but looks can be deceiving. This delicious Dutch cookie is made with cinnamon, peanuts, and pearled sugar. Cinnamon? Okay. One popular okay, once popular only with sailors which were viewed uh, as a ragtag part okay. of society. Okay. We're trying. What's in there? Oh, okay, so it comes in a little thing again. Just like, just like uh, that one. The pencil one. Oh, you know what they look like? Smell like, you know those sesame cookies? They're, they're like crackers, but they have like sesame on the top. That's kind of what it looks just, like. It has the little thing like this one. Yeah, it does come in a little plastic like the other cookies did. Okay. Ooh, that's Ooh, that really tastes like graham crackers. It does. <laughs> well, you go to the nurse's office at school and they give you those because you're hungry. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Mm. So that's what they look like. I don't know if you can... There we go. So... Peanut, oh, it's crumbling all over the place. Jesus, okay. I'm not too exact. No, they taste like cinnamon bear. Um, the cinnamon, um, shoot, what are those called? They're little, they look like little bears and they're cinnamon. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. I don't know. They're cinnabears. I, I don't know what they're called. They're they're small and they they look. They're, I don't know. Whatever. They're cute. They come in like chocolate and all the other things. I don't know what it's called. But they're that's exactly what it tastes like. You actually don't taste the peanuts. Teddy grams. Thank you, Becca. That's exactly. <laughs> I said cinnabears. You know what I meant. Weird enough. There's a lot of peanuts on it. You don't taste the peanuts at all. The peanuts taste I like peanuts though. Me too. You don't taste the peanuts at all. 
Okay, I got brown crackers on my hair. And this one failed. Okay. Can you give me another one? <laughs> Teddy grams, yes. You gonna finish it? Is it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. He likes yeah, everything yeah, in yeah. this box. I just can't do the caramel and the butter sticks and the... Mm -mm. That's not for me. Why? Because it's just, um... It's, yeah, no. <laughs> like this one. They're waffles. Shaped waffles. Yeah, because... And they're butter food. I thought that was nasty. I... I couldn't eat it. I could I can't eat that one because he didn't like this um cinnamon tasting one. I thought it was good. Like uh, it was not good. It was a it's mild. They look like mints kind of, but they're cinnamon. They're really good. Are you ready? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh. So we'll just um take your time. <laughs> He's really enjoying that. Mm hmm Did you guys know that the Netherlands flag, the top stripe wasn't red? It was actually orange. I did not know that. Then again, I don't know a lot of things. Okay. You ready now? Okay. Go ahead. Choose. You got two things to choose from. That's a wrapper. <laughs> Come on, come on. This one? No, it's just No, come on. <laughs> this one? Okay. I'll find it. Roca. Ooh, I'm excited. It has raspberries on it. I like raspberries. The purple. Found it. Okay, Mom, now I'm confused. Cheddar and raspberries? Do you please read it? Cheese crisp? Cheese crisp. That's fine. Okay. So this is the Roca, Roca Cheddar and Raspberry Cheese Crisps. Cheese Krispies. I'm so sorry. Okay. Puff pastry biscuits with cheddar and raspberry pieces. Raspberry in the raspberry in a cheese cracker. Clearly, these aren't your ordinary crackers. In fact, they're a what? Decades long project to produce the most sophisticated cheese cracker. So it's a fancy cheese cracker. Okay. Um, in the country. In the beginning, the company's founder, Joe Rudenridge, he's probably really pissed off that I said his name like that. I'm sorry, Stop. Joe. <laughs> um, opened a small factory in the city of. Delft and began special? folding 90 layers of cheese. Oh, That's Mom. a lot of cheese. Mom, this is this is up because this is a pattern. It is a pattern. You're going to eat that? Okay. I lost my place. Okay, so 90 layers of cheese pastries. Then he sliced the pastries into strip and, strips and baked them into into a new type of biscuits, which is called the Cheese Crispy. His company's name, Roca, mm -hmm. is a combination of his name, which is Ro oh, Rudenridge's, yeah, he's pissed right now, and the, the Dutch word for Cheese Crispy. I am definitely not going to try to say that. Okay, the Cheese Krispies were a success in today's Roca is um, nationally recognized for their delicate biscuits featuring only the highest quality Dutch ingredients. My ghost feeder. Okay. Oop, someone's calling me. No. Anyway. I hope, can you guys still see me? Am I still on? Yeah. I got a phone call, so I don't know if I'm still on. No phone call. Well, it doesn't say that I'm off. Am I still live? Yeah. Can you guys still see me? Yes? No? Nobody's answering. Can they see us? 
Can you see us? Yes, Becca said yes. Thank you, Becca. Okay, someone called, so I thought maybe they couldn't see me. <laughs> okay. They say it yet. Becca, you've been with us for so long. I'm so happy. You're like my only viewer. <laughs> no, there's another person watching. I think it's uh, Johnny's watching. Hi, Johnny. Johnny. Ah, Veronica's watching too. You say hi. Hi. Okay. They just like dinosaurs. Ooh, they smell really cheesy. Mm. Smell that? Can I try it? Jesus. Okay, give me a second. Little thing again. They're like strips. Do it. Literally, they're like strips. Huh. Mm -hmm. mm. They mm. taste like Cheez Its. Mm. Just more cheddary. Oh, that's really good. I can do without the raspberries, though. They're, like, annoying. If that makes any sense. I don't taste the raspberries. You don't even taste the raspberries. It's like a random clump of berry. <laughs> that's really good, though. I'm not going to lie. That's really good. I like sharp cheddar. And it tastes like sharp cheddar. So it tastes like a a really strong cheese it. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright guys. We have one more. This is a lot of food. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my next month's box. Okay. So this one's the Roca. Original cheese biscuit. Oh, I love cheese. So they look like, <laughs> they look like croutons, kind of. <laughs> okay. Ruka Gouda Mini Cheese Krispies. Puff pastry biscuits with Gouda. Gouda. Uh, I've never tried Gouda. Me too. With this snack, you're getting a bite of one of the most important foods in the Netherlands. Gouda, the famous cheese named after the Dutch city of Gouda, <laughs> Gouda. accounts Gouda. for more than 50% of the country's cheese production since uh. ninth, er, I'm sorry, since 1395. This cheese has been traded in its namesake city in a very particular way. Fresh cheese wheels are delivered by horse and cart. Then neatly stacked by farmers in front of the Gouda, Gouda city. Am I saying it wrong? Is it Gouda or Gouda? Gouda. I'm thinking it's Gouda. No, it's Gouda. Gouda? Yeah. You're not even looking at the word. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm saying it right. Okay. They're then sold. You don't want to look like an idiot if I'm saying it completely wrong. Um. Oh, la, 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 la. All right, we'll just try it because I lost my place. Yeah. And it's the last one. Yeah, right. I'm going to try all of them. Oh. It smells just like the other one. Oh, my gosh. Just like this one. Yes, it smells just like that one. It does. It does, huh? I'm going to try this. So they're, they look just like the other ones, but smaller and without the raspberries. And this one's bigger. My I'm trying a different one. Mm -mm -mm. I don't like it. Um, you don't like it? No. Yes. Okay. I don't know if it makes sense, but they taste greasy. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, you know if you leave a, a chip or a, a tortilla too long in a safe, like in, in oil or, so, or some type of, something that soaks up oil, it's kind of what it tastes like. 
You can taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. But, like, I feel like if you go like this, you can, like, little drip oil out of it. Mm -hmm. It's very oily. I'm guessing that's the Gouda in it. I, I can't even read the ingredients. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, see? It does have a lot of oil in it. Wheat, flour, goat cheese, milk, vegetable fats, palm, coconut, oh, gut, rat, <laughs> seed uh. oil, and salt. Oh, I mean, it tastes good. It does. It's not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right. It doesn't taste nothing. So now we're going to... It doesn't taste like anything. Okay. So now we're going to choose. We actually finished with all of the, the stuff in the box. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Um, oh, no. We have one more thing left. We have the yum bag. Remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it also... Oh, shoot. It also comes with a yum bag. So basically, it's like the hard. Oh, that looks interesting. Okay, so it comes with um, the young bag comes with like basically like the hard, like the candies. Pretty yeah, much. because I have all the candies. So we're gonna try. Yeah. All right, we're gonna find the candies though. We have to find the candies. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. The yum bag. Okay. I'm gonna Let's pour. I'm Let's gonna put. Right back. Where are you going? There. There. Those are the ones that I didn't like. Are you gonna come back around so we can try the candies? Sorry, I don't. Why know you what don't them. like? I didn't like them. <laughs> okay, yeah. hold on. Stop. We're gonna try these. Um. There's one of those. Ooh, hazelnuts. I like, I I like, like this hazelnuts. one. This one. Hold on, you gotta try. Creamy crisps. It's the red one. I know, hold on. I'm trying to, red. I'm trying to get one of each because there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, there's golden. A milk chewy. There's golden. Okay. Oh, there's one there. Okay. And... Alright, so, we're going to try this one first. Yeah. Because I just want to see his reaction. <laughs> Alright, so this me? is, I will, hold on. This is Le Brutal Citron. Citron, this I gonna, like citron. <laughs> this is going to be good, guys. Okay, so this is a sour lemon hard candy <laughs> with sour filling. I am so excited to see his reaction with this one, actually. <laughs> I like sour stuff. Okay, guys. Right. Me too. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I gotta go, I gotta get mine, too. You're not supposed to crunch it, you're just supposed to... sour as I thought it would be. Good. It tastes like a regular lemon. Actually, I think a lemon is more sour than that. It's not bad, though. And it's not that hard. Let's try this one. So it, like, crunches. It, like, how do I say it? It dissolves really fast. Bye. You tried this golden one. Okay. I tried the red one. So he's gonna try the red one. I have to tell him what it is first. So this one's a creamy crisp. Creamy crisp. That's the one he's gonna try. And the creamy crisp. Oh shoot. Where's the creamy crisp one? Creamy crisp. Okay. Well, it's not in here. So. It's just a creamy crisp, I guess. Yeah, they don't have 
They have green. So it looks like chocolate. Yeah. No, you gotta bite it. Mmm. So, I have stuff in the inside. Mm-hmm. Yes. It All tastes right. good. What does it taste like? Chocolate. So it might have milk chocolate in the middle? Okay. Oh, you can have that one. I'll eat. Oh. There was only one. So I can't tell you what it tastes like. He can probably tell you what it tastes like. What does it taste like? Chocolate. So the whole thing tastes like chocolate? What's in the middle? White chocolate? Mm -hmm. We'll just go with white chocolate. Because it doesn't tell me. Like, it doesn't say... My what side? The golden one. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this one, the green one, is hazelnut. Dutch best preline. Um, milk chocolate filled with... Hazelnut cream, cereal crispy, or, okay, so he got the cereal crispy one, or cappuccino cream. So I'm guessing, oh, this one's the cappuccino. This I one's got the cappuccino hazelnut. Too. No, this is the hazelnut, and he got the cereal crispy cream, so I'm guessing like white chocolate. Okay, do you want to try the gold ones together? Yeah. We'll try the gold ones together. No, the gold ones. <laughs> I'm a big fan of coffee. Guys, wait! Okay, sorry. Oh, this is really bad. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. So it's coffee. Mm hmm. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Co uh, He's uh, going to be uh, extremely uh, hyper after this. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay. It tastes like it's coffee. It's very good. It tastes like coffee. It tastes like real coffee. It tastes really good. Oh. Okay. It doesn't taste like those knockoff candies, you know? And the milk chocolate's like actually just right. It doesn't taste fake. It tastes like really freaking good. Mm -hmm. Which one's that one? Um, I don't know how I feel about it. You want to try this one? No, no let's try these. Mm, okay. Well, let's try this one, the hazelnut first. No, let's break it apart. The hazelnut? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Wait, wait, monkey. Jesus. It just looks like the golden one. So the hazelnut's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss T. I miss tea. <laughs> oh, he like spit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Their chocolate's freaking amazing. Really good. Mm. And these are both my favorite. I never got to try the red one, so. Try that one. I'm really interested about the milk stick. Yeah, let's try it. Soft milk candy. That's scary. I don't know about all that. You want to try the milk ones? Yeah. Try it. Okay, the Dutch are famous for their dairy and their one thing thank for. One thing to think for. He's white. Mud. Love you too, Miss T. Hey, Miss T is too Miss T's. <laughs> So over 400 years ago, most of the Netherlands was covered in water and swampy marshlands. But in the 17th century, locals began a massive project to rebuild their country. Hold on, baby. Rebu um, rebuild their country, constructing thousands of canals and water pumping windmills to drain the land. This new land was perfect for growing rich grass and soon thousands of cows were happily Grazing suddenly, don't pick it up. Um, grazing suddenly, the Dutch had a whole lot of milk on their hands, <laughs> so I'm guessing they had no idea what to do with it but to make milk candy. Um, the excess mills will use the 
Excess milk was used to make many of their creamy foods in the country. It is known for today milk, cheese, yogurt, pudding, and of course, this creamy, chewy Easy. milk candy. I'm, I opened it. I'm, okay. We're going to try just one because this is like terrifying. Ready? Yeah. Can you break it? Oh, it breaks. That doesn't sound chewy to me. Hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Not really. Why? Why? It tastes like taffy. It does. And I don't like taffy. I don't like a lot of things. I just noticed that making this I don't like taffy. You've never tried <laughs> taffy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what it tastes. Yeah. I don't like taffy. I don't like taffy. It tastes like plain taffy. Yeah. It, I like, don't like no taffy. no flavor to it. I don't like taffy. It doesn't even taste like milk. It doesn't. I don't know about that. Okay. He doesn't like it, but he finished it. Okay. Yeah, I would. <laughs> What's next? So he's going to choose another candy. All right. So these ones, Holland Hoppies. I'm so sorry. I did not even say that right. It has a J. What did I miss? A lot, Miss T. So we're actually just down to candy now. Somebody's watching us. Um... We had like a bunch of paprika chips. Um, we're really good. Apparently, how do you call it? Um, the Netherlands, they really, really like licorice. That's gross. I don't like licorice. And it looks like they like a lot of caramel. I don't do caramel either. I like caramel. He liked everything in this box. I like caramel. Don't um, say you like everything in the pot. My favorite, we'll get that to the end. But my, I'll let you guys know what my favorite was. I'm pretty sure Becca can guess which one was my favorite. But, or no, were you, you probably weren't on at that moment. Hmm. But I have a favorite. I'll let you guys know which one it is. Okay, so these are coffee flavored hard candy. I like coffee. Are you addicted to coffee is the first question. Yes. Not to worry, you're not alone. Back in the 1792, um, another coffee addict, the Baron Hendrik Hoff, lived above it's a candy chocolate. store in in the. Oh Lord, Becca knows my pron pronouncing stuff was terrible. Um, hey you, H A J or G U E. Hey, you? Sure, that, that sounds about right. Hendrick was advised by this doctor to kick the coffee it habit. It have a J. But of course, he didn't listen. Instead, he asked his downstairs neighbor to create a candy that would satisfy, satisfy his coffee craving. After some experimentation with the conf confectioner, presented Hendrick with a sweet maid from coffee oh, caramel jesus coffee is life and cheese i love cheese I, this was the only thing that i was just like it doesn't taste like anything it tastes like flavorless flavorless taffy it was it's horrible um i open it okay he he got a head start <laughs> all right we'll just try it Coffee addicts rejoice is what it says. It rejoice. Means. Rejoice. All right. Oh. Uh. You tried it? Well, don't chew it. You're gonna, this child's going to break a tooth at the end of this video. I like it. Me too. I actually like this one better the cappuccino we do 
It's very mild. It's like a star, no. Starbucks is too strong. It's like a, a Dunkin' Donuts in your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry I ate the um, It is $39.99 a month. I'm talking to you. Sorry yeah. I ate two, two, two of them. Oh, that's okay, baby. That's okay. We buy it. One more left. Mm-hmm. So it's $39.99 a box. Yay. Um it comes with stop. It comes with 20 plus um goodies, pretty much. It comes with a booklet of each thing. It also comes with like Mom, basically like fun facts and stuff. No, I'm not finished. I'm talking. Um some fun facts. We didn't try these ones. It also does like a trivia. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Like a trivia. It comes with the Welcome to the Netherlands. This is the first thing you see when you open the box. Which I thought was pretty interesting. And then it says. The official Yum Award. So that you get to grade Two. basically the stuff. Like the best thing and, and stuff like that. Three. Was there enough? Four. Yes. There was a lot of stuff in this box. Three. Like. A lot of stuff. Um, I was actually pretty satisfied with the box. He is. You're having fun? Yeah. It was his idea. <laughs> I saw the box. Mm, excuse me. I saw the box. Um, actually, I was watching videos online. He happened to sit next to me. And he really liked it. He was just like, Mama, when are we going to get our box? I was like, well, I didn't order it yet. <laughs> because I wasn't thinking that, you know, I I honestly didn't think I was going to do a video. I'm very camera shy. Uh, so, not many people watching. But that's okay. It was a first. I'm planning to do it every month. Just because it's like a mommy and... Daddy. No. <laughs> mommy and son thing. And I'm excited. It was a really good box. I am pretty satisfied with all the stuff that came in it. Very satisfied. I think it's worth it. I opened it. I was looking into how long did it take to get the box. So they shipped out. Uh, they ship out every fifteenth of the month, and I just got it today. I wasn't supposed to get it till like the twenty fifth or something, but it came. It was. It was not bad. So about. Five to seven business days is what they Wee. said. So maybe like count with two weeks, I guess, without weekends. Wee. Wasn't bad. Um, I, me because I'm very impatient. Well, I like your vibe. How long? Bark box. So I was thinking about getting the bark box, but Momo really doesn't care. He's happy with dollar toys, and he has lots of allergies. Yeah. So if he gets like um allergy. Like, if he gets certain treats, he yeah. might be allergic to it. I got a dog with allergies. At... Open yours! Go figure. What is this one? Oh. I opened it. Sorry, I guess I'm talking too much. Yeah. Let me see. No, he said yes. Wow, okay. I said yeah. Okay. Nope, not trying it. Okay, this one's a hard black licorice with a salty filling. Are you... You could do every plate. What do you mean? Every plate. Bark box. Isn't the bark box for the pets though? Yes. You could do every What do you mean I can do every plate? Like I can choose what goes in the box? What one? No? Yes. No? Yes. Maybe? Yes. 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 Oh, I get to choose what's in there. Okay. Hmm. How much is it? Isn't it like 20 bucks a month though? Yes. Something like that? Yes. And it comes with like toys and stuff? Yes. <laughs> he's saying yes and he has no idea what he's talking about. Every plate. Oh, but it's for the 
for pets. It's not for me, right? I, I'm, is it like, so like blue apron, but for dogs? It's $38.95 for three meals. Hmm. Okay. I have to look into that. That looks cool. And then, so you guys want me to cook in front of you? Oh, Lord. That's terrible. My kitchen's a mess. <laughs> this is like my only little corner where it's not a mess. <laughs> you like my eyebrows? <laughs> Every plate is meal for people. And they call it a bark box? Yeah! And it's for people. Bark box for people dogs yeah oh every plate okay they're two you're talking about two different things okay okay i was so confused i thought you meant the bark box has every plate for us i was just like uh i was pretty sure that was for dogs okay i see what you're saying so do you like that what you have in your mouth i i take that as a yes uh, uh. Huh. What? It's hot. It's licorice. I don't like licorice. I don't like licorice. Okay, I see two different things. Gotcha. I, it took me a little bit. Miss T, you know I'm slow. Anyway, I don't like it. Yes, you do. You're eating it just fine. Stop. He probably bit into it, and it says with a salty filling. That's gross. Licorice is enough. And to have salt in the middle, that's nasty. Look at his face. Are you okay? <laughs> okay. So that was it. All right. Are you ready to tell me which one's your favorite? Out of all the things, meals for two is $29.99 plus delivery equals $38.99. Not bad. I mean, more than. All right. We're going to have Alexander choose his favorite. All right. Out of the whole pile over there, which one was your favorite? This is hard because he liked all of them. No, go ahead. You got to choose one. You got to choose one that was your very favorite. Really? This one. Oh, that's gross. Yes, he could. That would be a good idea. I'm going to look into that. Um, God, I'm going to cook in front of you guys. Lord, no. So this was Alexander's favorite, the double deckers. I I don't like it. I tried. I really tried eating it. I couldn't do it. It's licorice with fruit flavor mixed. Yeah, it was bad. But that's his favorite. Okay, that's his. Which one did you not like? I knew it. So he didn't like this one, which is the cinnamon pillows. They're really good. Um, I liked it. Not my favorite, but I liked it. It was really good. My favorite was this one. Me too. No, it wasn't. But yes, this was my favorite. So it's dark chocolate covered... Um, orange so good um the milk chocolate and the orange crisps in it like they even out it was just so good i i'm probably not gonna share <laughs> uh at all <laughs> i thought they were the best i liked it my hey, ew. Oh, 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 oh. okay go spit it out over there and go get water <laughs> So he bit into the saltiness. <laughs> so I guess that one's not his favorite. Yeah, just spit it there. That's fine. <laughs> the flavored pear. Nice. Yes, they really do. Um, I remember when I was little, we had this. Um, I don't know where to find it. I've been trying to find it. It's. It looks like a whole orange, and it's in a foil. It wasn't a, it was a dark chocolate kind of, and then you would have to hit it, and then the slices would open, and it was just like these, but 
the slice, it was the best thing in the world. And this remind me, like, this was like a throwback for me. Um, I like it. I need to find it. I don't know where it is, uh, but it's so good. My least favorite. I, need this one <laughs> I had so I need, many. But I, I need this one because I don't just, feel better. Okay, just drink one of those. Okay, he needs chocolate to feel better, apparently. Yeah, because... Those are so yummy. The flavors, yes. They did pair nicely. Um, my least favorite... I had so many. But the very... Literally the very, very least, least favorite, I would have to say, was the was his favorite. Um, was the Double Deckers. Mom, did you want... I... The, no, I... Um, you don't like it. I can't. I tried. I really yeah. did. Yeah, because you don't um, like it. it was bad. <laughs> yeah, because you don't like the waffles. You don't like you don't like the double deckers. I don't like the double deckers. I did like the waffles. Oh, these waffles. Yeah. No, I didn't like this either. But um, you like the chocolate one. The yes, I did like those. This one is actually Ma, did you waffled. Want more? Ma. Yes, ma'am. Did you want one more chocolate? Uh, no, baby, you can have it. Thank you for asking. Um, this one actually is like, they're waffle shaped, mm -hmm. butter bars, kind of a thing. It was, um, no. Uh, it tasted, I'm not gonna, it tasted like caramel, but like that fake caramel, like that knockoff caramel that you would get like at the dollar store that tastes really bad. Uh, yeah, that's what that tastes like. I did not like it at all. I mean, it was doable. I could, like, it's not something I would go buy if someone had it. And I'm like, man, eh, I guess. But not. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss T. I'll look at it. I'll look into it. Um, careful. So, I like those. I, oh, no, no, no. I didn't like those. I'm sorry. This was my favorite, though. Yeah. Um, so, a review of what we have for you guys. I don't know if you saw all of it. You know um, I know Miss T didn't get a chance to. But <clears throat> you can have it. Okay. So, what he's eating is the Choco Stroop Waffles. Yeah. Which is this one. It's a chocolate. It has caramel in the inside, and it has, like, a cracker. Mm -hmm. Uh, with chocolate on top. Mm. This one was actually very good. Mm. The caramel wasn't so strong that it tastes like it just wasn't strong. It was really good. I liked it. It's something I would eat probably with like coffee. Actually, I would eat this one more with the coffee. Stroop waffle. So this is um also another caramelly type, but this tastes like more like a graham cracker with like a um. With like a syrup on top. No, what is it called? Maple syrup. Like a maple syrup. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I got those. And then we got these ones. I know you got to see these already. But um, these are the Gouda. The Gouda crackers. Mm -hmm. They're itty bitty. They're good. They're like that. They look like croutons. Kind of. Um, what else did we get? We got these. Alexander liked them. I didn't. It's a toffee mixed with licorice. They have a, a licorice fetish. I, I just I can't understand. They why. mixed up because I can't I I can't do it. Yeah, it's um mixed. So there's licorice and then toffee in the back. I thought that was gross, but it is what it is. Um, we also got Jan Hagel. So these are like the, these taste like, this is the one that you were telling me that, uh, um, the, the graham crackers, what were they called again, Becca? I forgot. Um, Teddy crack, Teddy Grahams, Teddy Grahams, yes, Teddy Grahams. So this is, I think, I'm probably saying it wrong, <laughs> but this one's the one that tastes like Teddy Grahams, I think, right? Wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. So these are the ones that taste like Teddy Grahams. They have peanuts on top. It's peanuts. With um, crystal sugar and lightly spiced cookies with peanut rasp and sugar. That was it. I'm pretty sure it had probably cinnamon on it. It tastes like it. Uh, we got that. And then we got these ones. 
They were. It's a puff pastry. I should have read that before. But you, I'm sorry. you liked it too. Yes, I did. So this was the puff pastry. This were the pretzels um, with the sugar. What is it called? The pretzel covered with sugar is what that one was. Glazed, I'm sorry. And then these are good. I like these. So these were the uh, palm bar uh, paprika chips. I thought they were really good. So it's a, um, it looks like a potato. Uh, I should read it, but it looks like a potato with paprika on it. It was actually really good. But yes, we got those as well. So yeah, potato crisp with paprika. They were really good. They were mild. This one, the um, the paprika wasn't like, wow, overpowering on there. But it was actually really good. Uh, they were they were very light. They smelled really good. And then we also got what else did we get? Oh, uh, we got. <laughs> he thought this name was funny. What's the name? Uh, Pinchachas. <laughs> Pinchachas. <laughs> so, uh, Pinchachas is the paprika inspired by the swinging taste of Cuba. Cuba. So, Cuba. this one actually did taste a little bit more. You can taste the paprika a little bit stronger on this one than the other one. But it was pretty good. Um... It was still like a light, crispy taste to it. Um, it wasn't so like strong. Are you not gonna sit in the video anymore? Yes. Okay, where are, where are you going? Just like excited. You got bored. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then we got these. I'm gonna eat it. The Chio Extra Extra Large Flippy Cheese. Yeah. Puffs. Yeah. Is what we got. These one tasted like a like a Cheeto puff, not as uh, it was, but it was more like a sharp cheddary taste to it than a regular Cheeto puff. What else did we get? We got these. Oh, these are the. I'm sure. Let's see, I think you already saw that one. The Roca original cheese biscuit. It also had. It tasted like a cheese. It just a little stronger. Um. Yeah, a little stronger. So it, cheddar, it tastes more like a sharp cheddar. And then the random raspberries. You don't even taste the raspberries. You Honestly, you just taste the clumps. And it's like more annoying than anything else, I guess. I don't know. But it was good. And then the very first one we try, tried were the Auto Drops Cadillacs. They're a gummy, which was really good. I liked it. Me too. It was a fruit, fruit smack, is what they call it. Fruit smack. What's that? Um, there were strawberry. Uh, he apparently is eating them all. And that was about it. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, we got a lot of stuff. My table looks a mess. It's crazy. So it comes in um, a yum's box. So it's like this big. Um, it's pretty thick. What I like, the fact that it actually has um, full-sized stuff. It didn't start that way. And I got one. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me now? I can still hear you and see you. Okay. Miss T, maybe it's your signal? I don't know. I can hear you and see you. Me too. All right, Miss T, it's probably just you. <laughs> I don't. So he's just eating all the snacks. Uh... <laughs> but I am very happy with my box. I'm really satisfied. Now I'm like anxious i want my other box from another country i wish it was like every week <laughs> but I'm trying to think what else it has so like i said it has a booklet um it looks like in the back there's some coupons i guess 
which is cool. This is the holiday season. The gift, or uh, give the gift of yums. So save ten dollars on any six months yum box subscription. Save twenty on a six month yum yum box. So they're different sizes. There's actually three sizes. I got the biggest size because, of course, go big or go home, right? Um, I got the super yum box, which is twenty plus stuff in the box. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. there's the, the regular yum box, which is only like six snacks in it or I less. Was say. I see. I'm reading it. She says that was fun. So she said that everything we did today looks like we had fun today. I and did. We, that. And then that says LOL, which is laugh out loud. Ah! <laughs> ah! So, um, th like I said, there's three sizes. There's the yum box. There's the yum yum box. And then there's the super yum box. So the yum box is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's $14.99 a month. And it has six or more um, snacks in the box. The yum yum box is 10 snacks or more in the box. And it's um, $25 a month. And then... The super yum box. Oh, look, that says Alex. It does say Alex. She's saying hi. Yeah, that's my middle name. That's, no, that's your nickname. <laughs> Close enough. And then um, the super yum box, it's oh. 30, no, 29.99. One of the two. I don't remember. It's 39.99. I'm sorry. 39.99. And it comes with 20 plus snacks inside. And what's um, that says there? It says... You can come to my class. You were. Oh, yeah. You were in mommy's tummy when I was in her class. Yeah. Yeah, you were baby. Yeah. <laughs> it says, hi, Alex. That's the same one, monkey. Oh. Hi, um, Alex. I'm happy. I can't wait till the next one. I'm actually probably, if you guys liked the video, um, let me know. And if so, I can, I'll be doing the boxes every month when I get them. Um, and do the video I'm excited. And subscribe if I don't get any feedback to it, probably won't do the video, guys, but I'll still be doing my boxes. No, I'm talking first. Okay, he's going to talk now. It was great to me of subscribe of a big thumbs up. Okay, so he wants a big thumbs up and he wants you guys to subscribe. I guess. <laughs> Bye! And you brought him to pick up your work after he was born. Yes, I did. You were a very baby. You were you were in a coche when I took you to see her. You were little. Mm -hmm. To see Miss T. Miss T is my teacher. Why? Why? Because I used to go to school too. <laughs> so, um, if I get feedback from you guys, um, or from a lot of people, or, you know, then I'll go ahead and do my box every month. I like watching. Big thumbs up, Alex. There you go. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, Subscribe. The and support. Becca, thank you. T, thank you for watching. Um, I might, you know what? I think I might be doing the boxes every month. I'm going to try to come on live a little more. Um, maybe new things uh, here and there. Probably cooking and... Eh, we'll see. Damn, now, dude. <laughs> I like Miss T. It sounds cool. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We're going to head out. We got to clean our... Yeah, she says a big thumbs up. Alex. She gave you a big thumbs up. Alex. Yeah? No more Miss T. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much oh, for watching. That, saying, that says no more Miss T. Just like this. Yes, that says Thea now. Yeah. Why? <laughs> All right, kisses. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Bye.